Right guys, talking about solving systems of equation, can you give me that system which you had yesterday? It was x x plus 3y plus 3z equals to minus 3. And then 2x plus 2y 2y plus z equals to minus 5. The last equation was minus 2x minus y plus 4z equals to 6. Now guys, what we saw there is that this matrix can be reduced to its matricial form by focusing on the matrix of the coefficient you can call A then multiplied by the matrix of the unknown which you call, call X and that is equal to the right hand side which you can call matrix B and I highlighted before that that is similar to our grade 1 equation which is uh, 2 2x equals to 8. Then guys, what, what is important there for me is that I want to take you to another method of solving what systems of equation. But that I want to, to first of all look at 2x plus 2x equals to 8 that you solved it by multiplying by 2 to the power minus 1 on both sides which multiplying by 2 minus 1 is equivalent to dividing by 2 and then you get your x equals to 8 over 4 altogether now Following exactly this kind of analysis here, we can think of a matrix which we are going to denote this way and say a to the power minus 1 multiplying by a multiplying x and then multiplying this side by the same a to the power minus 1 b. And this matrix for a fact, that's information I'm giving you, we call this matrix inverse of A. This matrix is called the inverse of A. Now the inverse of matrix A. Inverse of A. This matrix is what minus is what 2 to the power minus 1 is 2 2. That's one word this. 2 to the power minus 1. I'm saying this matrix is what is the same thing what 2 to the minus 1 is to a number 2. What is important here? If I multiply 2 to the power minus 1 multiplied by 2, I get the identity of for multiplication. So here, if I multiply a to the power minus to the power minus 1 multiplied by a, I'm expecting to get the identity of this type of matrix. So then, if that is the case, if I multiply by the identity here, which means I'm going to get x, and my x is, is actually x, y, z, then it will be equal to, this is a, let's say this was a 3 by 3 matrix, like we've read this system here, and this is a 2, by sorry three by one matrix. So here it tells us we can multiply, and there it means we are going to get a three by one, which means on the left hand side we are going to get a matrix which is B one, B two, B three. Then, like the French will say, voila, x equals to B one, x oh, sorry y equals to b2 and z equals to b3 then 
at the end of that good day, we can say we have solved a matrix, a, a system of equation by applying the inverse of the matrix of the coefficient. So, guys, what I've done here is just an overview of a kind of a roadmap where are we going. At the end of the good day, we must see, we must now learn how to find the inverse of matrix and now see, see from this explanation how we can multiply by it or pre multiply the, the left hand side by it to get the solution. Now, in the next section, the ball is in your court to listen to me attentively and make sure that I don't send you away from my class because you are not listening, because you are going to miss a lot. Otherwise, good luck. <laughs>